Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDeck Engineering and I've got a quick tech tip for you guys here. What I have here is a simple electronics housing and it's a really good example of where I might use a 3D toolpath to do something you may think you only should do with a 2D toolpath. So I want to rough this out before I do any of my finish passes. In order to do that, rather than using a dynamic toolpath, I'm going to use the dynamic OptiRough under 3D. The advantage of this is I'm not going to need to pick multiple chains in order to cut all these different faces to their different levels. Instead, I can just use the OptiRough toolpath and it'll do all that roughing for me in one operation. Let me show you what I mean here. So I'm going to go to my OptiRough toolpath and I'm going to pick my entire solid model for machining. I make a quick change here. I'm going to make my stock to leave on the walls a little bit less. And my stock to leave on floors, I'm going to make zero. So I'll bring the floor right to size, the floor on the top of the islands. And under my toolpath control, I do want to pick a boundary, a containment boundary. So I'm going to pick that boundary there. So my toolpath will stay inside of that boundary. And I have a 3 8 tool here that I want to use to cut this out because the radiuses in the corners are just under a half an inch. So 3 8 tool should be able to get into more area there. And I'm going to turn on my radial chip thinning and set my feed per tooth and my SFM. And I'll just update my plunge rate. And my pocket's just over an inch deep, so I think I'll stick that tool out of the holder just about an inch and a half. And now under my cut parameters, I'll set my step over to 20% to take advantage of my radial chip thinning factor. Put my step down at 200%, so I use the whole flute of the tool. And I'll turn on step up, and that'll make sure that I'll come back up and hit the tops of those islands there. And I'll just step up 20% of my cutter diameter. Now, all I'm going to do is set my arc filter settings here because I want arc moves here in this case. And then I'm going to hit OK and we'll let that generate. And let me show you what this did for me. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to verify this. And I'm going to just run through this verification here. So you can see how it hit the tops of these islands and that floor and I'll go to my verify tab here and I'll just do a quick stock compare so you can see that it brought these floors to green which would be zero stock remaining and I still have my stock along the edges and there's a trick to clean out in there I'll show you in another video. Alright everybody thanks for, for watching this video hope you have a great day and hope to see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.